Since ASU defines itself by who we include and not who we exclude, this really attracts individuals with values and beliefs related to diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility, which leads to a community that is constantly challenging itself and growing. So in the natural sciences, we're incredibly fortunate to have creative and energetic faculty, staff, and students who've been very active and committed to making sure that we have um, a diverse and inclusive communities in the sciences and maths. Arizona State University is an incredible place, and we're working hard to ensure that the curriculum we teach and the teachers in front of the class reflect the very place that we're in. We're also really fortunate to have research centers that are de dedicated to um, creating equitable uh, curriculum, like the Research and Inclusive STEM Education. And they've really led the way in, in, in sort of making sure that are we meeting uh, up to the challenge of creating education that really um, benefits all. We're very fortunate in the humanities to have some important centers that are led by faculty of color and whose mission is consonant with diversity, equity, and inclusion. The Graduate Initiatives team is continuously working on increasing the diversity of the applicants to our graduate programs, those who are admitted, our curriculum, and our training for a global market. We've been working hard with external partners to make sure that we have the resources that we need to, to fulfill our ambitions. We've been very fortunate in that we've had support from the Mellon Foundation for the Center for Imagination in the Borderlands. We worked with other foundations for ACM RAS. We want to make sure that we have rich resources for accomplishing our ambitions. So our faculty in the natural sciences are innovators and leaders in figuring out ways in which we could leverage the ASU strengths and, and digital and online technologies to reach out to underserved students around the country. So we are, you know, our faculty are, you know, having had incredible success in getting educational grants from the National Science Foundation, the National Institutes of Health, and the Department of Defense to, you know, on ways to create new curriculum, to assess them, and also modify it and make changes so that what we're, what we're doing is actually benefiting all students equally. We work closely with our current graduate students to develop programming and professional development. Based on student feedback, we are currently developing a mentorship program for students of color to receive guidance from faculty of color on the unique issues these students face. I would say that the one thing that I never lose sight of is that the future of everything we do is our students. And if we are not empowering them to be that future, then we've gone badly wrong. One of the reasons that I love being able to teach at least one course every year is I've had the chance to get to know our ASU students and they represent the diversity of the nation that is coming into being. They represent that future and I'm really proud to be part of their lives. I think for us, we, we are challenged to be as flexible as possible um, so that we can respond to students who need to be flexible, uh, innovative, you know, creative um, and resilient, you know, given the fact that they're going to be uh, facing this very, you know, sort of probably very changing future. Um, you know, that's exciting and I think it's an opportunity for us uh, to be able to allow a diverse set of, of students and the graduates to succeed. What I really enjoy about working at ASU and specifically within the college is the growth mindset approach to diversity, equity, and inclusion. That is, it's viewed as a process where there's always room for improvement, so we are constantly striving to grow and learn and together with a community of individuals that share these values and beliefs, we absolutely will.